You are weary from your travels, but mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Not only a town of myth and legend, but also a place where one can find fame and fortune round every corner. It is night as you enter the city, and it seems strangely deserted. See what our little ambush has won us. Halt! Who goes there? It's the watch. Let's get out of here. Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. Still some life in this one. <laughs> Looks like all they did was make off with some possessions. Easy, easy there. That's quite a blow you took. Those thieves that attacked made off with your possessions. But at least you're alive. They're becoming more bold with each passing day. You'd best stay off the streets after the sun sets. It's not safe out here. You can seek shelter in the Elf Song Tavern. It's close enough. I... More than enough cutthroats there. Could be one of them would even know how to find those that attacked you. Drawn by a haunting voice, you come to the Elf Song Tavern. It is a small place, filled with a motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. There, the haunting voice is all around you, and the patrons are silent as the song washes over them. One by one, they all seemed lost in its call. Beautiful song, isn't it? Some say she sings for a lost love, a soldier who died defending Baldur's Gate. They say she sings in the hope he will hear her voice and return home. Still, that's nothing but hearsay and tales. Welcome to the Elf Song Tavern. What can I get you? Hmm. Sounds like members of that new thieves' guild I've been hearing about. You're lucky to be alive. Word is they're responsible for the murder of two city watchmen and the disappearance of several thieves from the old guild. Well, no one knows where their guild hall is. Still, if you're determined to find them, try the sewers. I'll wager they've been using them to move around Baldur's Gate. It's probably what's been driving all those sewer rats up to the surface. Well, there's a gate to the sewers in the cellar of this tavern. I locked it up a long time ago, before the Guild War began. Well, there's a problem with that. Actually, maybe we can help each other out. Well, we've had to lock up the cellar because of the horde of rats that suddenly showed up down there. Clear them out for me and I'll give you the key to the sewer gate. And a little gold to help you get back on your feet. The door to the cellar's locked, so you'll need to get the key from Ethan over in the corner there. Luck be with you. And watch those rats. Some of them can be vicious when backed in a corner. Welcome, friend. I saw you come in. Nasty bump on the head you've got there. Something I can do for you? I do. We locked the door to the cellar once the rats started swarming around down there. Did you need it for something? 
Are you sure it was the rat problem? Or are you thinking of hunting down those thieves that attacked you? I overheard your conversation with Aelith. Look, friend, you've met them once and escaped with your life. Don't test your luck twice. Well, if the thieves won't keep you from going down there, maybe the rats will. All right, then. I won't say I didn't warn you. Here's the key to the cellar door. Don't be too long, or else I'll have to come down and get you. Oh, and before you go, take this dagger. It's uh, not much, but it might do you some good. Hi guys, John here again with another video. This is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance and it's on the GameCube. And yet again, this is one of my old recordings I'm redoing because of the um, quality of the new equipment and stuff I'm using. And um, as I just did last time with the Mario Kart game, I'll leave a link to the description of my old video so you can compare them. I do plan at some point to try and have some uh, side by side footage as well when I can. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. I haven't actually looked at the old footage yet, so um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I find it. This looks worse. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I've set it to 576p and it's using the Carby HDMI out. Whereas my last recording was done from the Wii, the component out leads. I recorded that one with the Elgato HD60S and this one is with my other media. Portable Gamer 2 card. So, there we are.
Thanks for all the support for my recent videos. Um, I really appreciate it, and it does help me to focus on uh, improving things again. Um, the next stage thing I'm looking into is having an RGB Nintendo 64. I'm bringing that up to uh, my gear that I use here, so that's the next thing I'm looking into at some point, if funds allow. And, um, yeah. Here we are. <laughs> I'm a bit tired today. I didn't sleep very well last night. That's one of these things. But um, here we are. We gotta press on. So um, yeah, let me know what you think of this video. It's an old, it's an old classic, and it's one of my personal favourite games. I did a playlist of the first three parts um, a long, long time ago now. I think about two years ago now on this channel. And if you want to see more parts of this remake you know from the way I'm doing it now please let me know and I'll gladly do it because I'm gonna be playing the game so if you want to see the recordings let me know and I will say this is about 30 odd minutes long and it is quite slow starting off the game but the more you get into it the more um, more harder it gets and more challenging it gets so let me know
so what type of videos do you guys like to see on this channel? Um, like it is, more older stuff, newer stuff. Um, please let me know. One thing I was only discussing about with my son yesterday is I uh, released the Mario Kart video, GameCube 1 um, video before last. And I had uh, 40 odd views, which is quite good for this channel. And then I looked at the watch time, and it was like, uh, it was okay, you know, decent enough. And then I looked at my last video, uh, my Mega Drive game, which is currently on 24 uh, views. And that had more watch time than the GameCube video with double the amount of views. So it makes you think, innit? What, uh, what is best, innit? So, yeah, please let me know what you want to see. Um, because of the I've got access to a lot more GameCube games so if you want to see them please let me know and um, yeah and let me know what you think of the quality of this if you like it I can have it at 480p and 60 frames per second I'm trying to debate which is the best to be honest because this game's not a fast moving game I thought if you know the higher video thing would be better have a 576p um, but yeah, please let me know any feedback, I appreciate it, because it's all a learning curve to me. I'm just like struggling through it, trying to find what works, what doesn't. So uh, any advice, any help would be appreciated. Uh, another thing I haven't said as yet, but I'm using a modded GameCube now with the X, X, Xon, e, Xeon, whatever you pronounce it, um, chip in it, and it allows me to play uh, games from the SD from SD card thing adapter, goes into a port underneath the console, and so what it allows is say. Um, allows me to play games from the SD instead of having to change discs, games which I own. And um, say, uh, how can I say, it gives me more options, resolution and stuff. I know there's, it's, I got some resolutions on the car B, but they're a bit more t difficult to get to, because the remote you have to use it like right next to the console, and my console's like tucked into a unit. But it's got uh, options for different, can you say say you've got an American game and it's in 480i you it gives you the options to change it to 480p progressive scan which is actually better for for most people's TVs to watch it and stuff like that which you couldn't normally do with um, GameCube or you and even play imports as well but you couldn't normally do with the GameCube 
faffing around. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of it. Anyway, this this particular game, it, it's a PAL game anyway, so it's fine. You know, it's five seven six P. But I couldn't, if it was an American game, I couldn't do that. I couldn't have it on five seven six. Some of you are thinking, what is he waffling on about? And there we are. I know. I'll shut up. You're back. Did you see Ethan down there? He, he followed you down there not long ago, and I fear he may have gotten lost in the cellar. Or worse, he may have wandered into the... Thank you. Uh, but before you go, please take these coins in payment for all you've done so far. And, as promised, here's the key to the sewer gate. Be careful down there. They're bound to be worse than... <laughs> We are approaching the end of the video. Um, basically, what's left is me getting to the bit where I, the door that was locked, the first bit earlier on. So it's basically me getting that, and it's some cutscene, which is really the start of uh, the next phase of the game. And um, so if you wish to see the next phase of the game, I would gladly make it. I, um, I, I really love this game, and I'd love to see it remade um, on a modern console. But I think it looks better than my old video, but I haven't deliberately haven't watched it yet. So um, yeah, so 
say I'll leave the link for the old video in the description so if you want to like watch a few seconds of it can compare it to this one please uh, do and please give me some feedback let me know what you think otherwise until next time I wish you all bye for now What's this you've called a sewer rat? Don't hurt him. Lord Xantum will wish to speak to him. They'll need to be in the best of health. Ah, excellent. I was expecting you. Did you receive the package from Lord Xantum? I, I did. And I have it with me. And you know where it is bound? He told me to take it to the crypts and place it within the Chamber of Ashes there. Excellent. The entrance you seek lies on the level below past the sewer grates. Let no one see you enter the temple and do exactly as you have been instructed. Now be on your way. I will return for the prisoner later. Guard him well. <laughs>